Hello and a warm which you welcome to Kelly Dwin's Corner. So today we're going to be looking at the 2018 Chris Watts family murders of his wife Shanann Watts and their children Bella, Cece and unborn son Nico Watts. So I'm going to be seeing if there's any secondary energy involved in these murders. This is a requested video and I do not name perpetrators or point fingers to anyone that hasn't been named as a prime suspect or otherwise by the justice system. So with that said, by law my disclaimer is this is for entertainment purposes only. This is not based on fact. This is my spiritual perspective and perception only. Please do your own research and draw upon your own conclusions and please do not spread any hate following this video. No reading is ever going to be perfect as I am gathering information from psychic impressions and energy. So with that said, I will commence with the video and thank you for watching. So, Chris Watts, can you show me if there was a second energy at the scene of the crime, knew about the crime, assisted with the crime. Justice, those, look at those scales, tipped. Now, see, this is showing to me, like, a couple of people in the background. We'll reserve judgment until we see what comes out. Is there anyone else involved? With the Chris Fox murders. And if so, can I have the description or an indicator of who they are? Interesting. I am getting here. Look again. It's that same energy. Look, it's the same woman there. This, see, with people, two people in the background again. With, see, two people there. I see a lot of jealousy there. I see a lot of like bitterness. That is really interesting. That same person coming out. Okay. I know this sounds very peculiar, but see the windows high up. That reminds me of Chris Watts' house. Having those windows right the way up. And this was the other card. Long dark hair. Strong female energy. Spirituality around them. The moon in the background too. I'm also feeling um, this goddess energy offering the seduction, there's something really significant here. We know Probably his crimes were, ooh. Now, this is very, very telling. This person, look, has a lot of alcohol glasses around her. 
and see that glass there almost being held up to her I would say this person has had substance misuse issues and it's like see that temptation of the glass behind long dark hair again wearing that white dress this was the outcome they were wanting this rainbow this love united and what i'm seeing here is two little girls in the background right there in the distance that's what this person was jealous of she wanted that prime position okay there's a lot of water being shown there's a waterfall here so i would say there's a lot of water in this person's um energy emotional water energy is what i'm feeling and this is someone look at that praying up to the sky the stars but was this person that i'm seeing involved that's what i need to know that's what i need to know ultimately did they have a hand in the murder find this berserk i said did they have a hand in the murder and look at the card that came out the hand going towards the rat and the scales in the other hand see the scales same long dark hair she ratted him out that's what i'm feeling here she ratted him out it was like see her seductively pulling him in but then the other side she had those scales in her hand she was playing both sides playing both sides okay can you show me what happened that night okay i've got i feel is there a mist the mistress energy there i need to know i need the energy of what happened that night and come home he was planning to leave that night the marriage was over that night that was that was the deciding factor Shannon went in ready to confront chris um i feel that she knew instinctively that things were wrong i think she already had the instincts that he was having an affair and she was ready to confront him over that bill because it was out of character and she knew 
she knew that weekend that he was seeing someone else and look how the light is maneuvering with this energy she went in the house she went down to the basement is what i'm feeling he wasn't upstairs she went down to the basement to confront him because he was just down there then i feel a huge argument in the basement and i'm also feeling as well that Something keeps alerting me to the basement of the home, which sort of conflicts his story of that they were up in the bed, but I don't believe he was in that bed with her. I'm also feeling as well that Nicole... Um, Nicole's energy was near that house of the morning and I do feel that she was inquisitive of what he was meant to leave like packing his bags and leaving and she wanted to make sure of it um she wasn't supposed to be there is what I feel um she just i don't know there's something something where i'm feeling There's things that she knew, but I feel she become a prime witness. That is what I'm feeling. I feel that she she and him had spoke that he was just going to leave. He was going to go to her house and he didn't show up. And that is why she ended up near his house because she wanted to see what was going on. By this point, she had become erratic because she wanted to make sure that he was keeping to his word and... I don't know how she, she's, I don't know whether she ended up at the scene. But at this point, I don't feel the children were passed. Do you know why <laughs> this is weird? I'm feeling that she thought Shannon had left the house. This is where I think there seems to be a strange, weird thing going on with the story. It's almost like I'm feeling she thought that Shannon had left, walked out and Chris was left with the kids. So she was definitely in that area, but I think she then afterwards was putting two and two together and realising what really happened. There was definitely a plan that he was meant to leave. 
He didn't turn up at her house and she ended up over there. She wasn't meant to be there. And he, the Chenan, was already past at that point. Because I'm feeling that Chenan and him had this blazing row when she was confronting him over the food bill. And he snapped. He snapped. And I think that she thought Shannon had gone. I think she thought like the kids were up. And what I'm feeling was that if Chris didn't plead guilty on that day, she was going to become a prime witness. I do feel that she has got on with her life. I don't feel she's in contact with Chris at all. I do feel she told lies. I do feel lying energy around her. So I don't feel she told the whole truth. I'm also feeling she she was at that house that morning. And that's when everything, it was just bedlam because I think he told her Shanana just stormed out to the house. But she wasn't. She was in that house, passed away. I don't feel she had anything to do with Shanann's murder. But what I do feel is she turned up. And I think everything was just in like crazy. I think she was checking up why he hadn't turned up at her house. That's what I feel. She was turning up. And I then feel he said, I'm going to have to sort this out. And, and I feel she even seen the children awake that morning because he was like, I'm going to have to sort all of this out. And... That's where I think all, all the, the discombobulation with everything. It's like, I believe Nicole left. I, say, I do believe she's seen the kids alive, but she thought Shannon wasn't there. Was she involved in other stuff? That's what I need to know, Spirit. Was she involved in other stuff to do with this? Because part of me feels that her energy is erratic at times too. So it feels to me she's very jealous, she's very possessive. I feel that she's definitely not the type to sit down sort of quietly when she's not getting her own way. I think she's very forthright, um, very controlling as well. I feel very controlling energy with her. Um, but she became a prime witness. But she liked about being there that morning. 
in the sense of where I think she was interacting with Chris that morning. That's what I'm feeling is an interaction with Chris. But I think, she, you know, this is where she missed all of that out completely when it come to... I'm feeling she said she seen something else. But actually, she was... She was engaged in a conversation with Chris that morning when she realised that Shanann had gone missing. She couldn't figure out how Shanann had left, but then she'd seen the children arrive. And then all of them are missing. And this is where I feel, because there was no, there was no like blood see, but I feel Shanann was in the basement. That's where I feel it, it happened. I really feel that, that's where Shanann was, was in the basement. And I'm seeing and feeling that her body was removed that way from the back of the house, not the front. But I think Nicole had to justify her energy of being at the house but not being involved. But she was there that morning. Because I feel that long conversation where she said she couldn't really remember what the conversation was about. This was all about Chris leaving, turning up at her house, and she was making damn sure that he left. Because that was it. She just wanted him to make that decision and be done with it. Then, I do believe, she then, this is when I feel she spoke to her father. And I do feel then, that's when they said we're going to have to go to the police. But I do sense that. She minimised her story so she wasn't directly at that crime scene. And that's how I feel this has happened. Because she's seen the girls. This is where it all was confusing. She was there and the, girl, the girls were alive when she was at the house. But the crime and the murder of Shanann had already happened. And what I sense is, is this is why there's this sort of grey area with the stories. I mean, you know, I could be wrong, but I feel she was there, but she didn't get involved with the the murders. I think she, she, I don't even think she knew Shanann was there. Um, and it was, that's why she became a prime witness. But the part where she was actually there, seeing the children was missed out. But she was near those children. But I don't believe, I believe then he drove them to work. I believe Nicole left and that's when everything he just made a decision for everything to to end the way it did. I don't feel he really shows much remorse. I think he has conditioned himself to prison. I think everything in his mind is more peaceful. Um, 
I, I believe he lacks empathy. Um, regardless of the fact of what have happened, there is lies that I've been told, but I do not believe she was involved in the direct murders. Um, from what I'm seeing now, I feel that, oh, what I feel is she was there in that moment, and I do feel she interacted with the girls as well. But those bits were missed out. That is what I'm seeing in this. So, but, Shanann, I feel, was in the basement. That's where I feel the energy being. She, the, the confrontation and everything else happened in the basement. I don't know why he even said it was up in the bedroom. Because it wasn't. He wasn't in bed with her. He was not in bed with her. I think he took the sheets off the bed. But it's something happened in the basement. And then I'm feeling he 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 lost the rage was there, he lost it. But what I'm seeing is is he I do believe he was on top of her. And I do believe <clears throat> there was some weird sexual gratification of some kind. Yeah, it's weird. I'm seeing the basement. So that's, I know this sounds a bit of a strange, like, to, like, events that happen, but that's how I'm feeling. The argument took place in the house. She was confronting him over the bill from the lazy dog. His plans were to walk out to the house. All hell broke loose. Um, I think he had stuff packed. I don't know why. I just feel he was packing. And everything was just like... But it happened in the basement. that's how she became a prime witness for the police. If he hadn't pled guilty, she would have been the prime witness. Yeah, he was... He was waiting that night to leave. That's what he wanted. I'm also feeling as well that Even down to, like, turning up at the house and the media and all of that, he, he, I don't know, he's just got a, I think,
I think that he really thought he was going to start this new life. It's weird because part of it feels very much like Scott Peterson. And it's strange because I really think Chris could have got away with it all. I don't know why, but it feels very much in line. He's the type, like, you know, with um, the Casey Anthony type energy, the Scott Peterson. I know Scott Peterson have gone to prison, but, like, you know, that energy of where he, you know, there could potentially be an opportunity for him to be released. I just feel that if Chris hadn't pled guilty, I really think that it would have been difficult to pin everything on him. It could have been something entirely different. I really believe that um, the phone and not having the code I, I think that really put a spoke in, in the works because I don't think he even thought about any of that until afterwards and then realised he couldn't get in his phone when he was, knew we had to cover up the tracks. See the stairs down. And, you know, I know the zombies are there, but she went down. She went down into that basement and the argument started. That's how I feel. And then I feel this represents the, the children's energies. And I feel that he, um, he killed, he killed them. Water. I definitely feel that there's a lot of water around her for some reason. Yes, I don't know. This is what it feels like to me. I I just feel this is a very convoluted situation where, like I said, there are the lines. See the basement, the stairs. Shannon went down the stairs to him. He was in the basement. And then I feel, look at the words that's written on this card. Anguish, hate, envy, love, satisfaction, sadness and hunger. And I feel that was the relationship that Shanann and Chris had. It had all those elements to that relationship. I think when there was good times, they were really good, but when they were bad times, they were really bad. And I think um, they were two energies that in a weird sense is probably one of the worst twin flame experiences. There seems to be a lot of karmic energy attached to this as well.
I also feel too with Chris's energy that there is and has been homosexuality because I'm feeling that very much um, prominent in his energy. Look at that. See the airport and the travel and the suitcase? That's her arriving that morning. There is Chris just sat there waiting. But see, like the hunger being there, the water again. So to me, that's representing all the emotional energy with Nicole. And I'm feeling that Nicole was very much an influence with Chris. I think she was very, she was very um, determined. That's the word I'm going to use for her. Very, very determined to get what she wanted. Um, I believe she knew about the pregnancy. I believe she knew that Shanann was pregnant. There you go. Look, there's the high chair. I believe she knew Shannon was pregnant. I think that's another one. I think there's lies within the truth. Um, and I'm just getting this sense of the reason that she was she was there. I do believe she was there in the court as well that day, but it was to make sure that if he didn't plead guilty that I feel that there would have been that witness statement ready, prepared um, for him to be um, charged. Anyway, I believe all of that was part of the process. Um, and I feel that the reason that she's not in the public eye or doing any type of book deal of like what we know in the, you know, the Scott Peterson case is because she knows there's lies within the truth. And I think it's just like cutting the ties with the situation, moving on. And that is how I feel. And I'm also feeling as well that she has sort of just moved on in a very, in just a very, very um, forward thinking manner. I don't think she even looks sort of back at things or is worried in any sense for her own self. Um, and the other thing as well I feel is that her friendship circles are very tight-knit with her. I don't think there's anything really that people would say about her. Because um, I feel a lot of people just don't want to be tangled up in a sense. I think there is a lot of um, gagging orders in place um, to do with all of this. And that is, so that's what I'm feeling. So it's a, it's a very sort of weird twist on the story that I've sort of seen into. But yeah, she definitely, there's lies within the truth and I just don't feel she was actually part of the physical murders. Um, but I do feel that she interacted and was there that morning and based on what the reading have said. So that was very interesting. I'm not sure I was expecting to tune into the situation that way. Um, and I know there's a very divided community in regards to what happened but um i don't know it just feels quite
it just feels quite a weird twist in a, in a sense to this did Nicole know I'm going to ask one more time did Nicole know Shanann was dead in the basement He sat there, Chris with the body on his own. That's why I'm feeding. He was alone with her. There I feared is the pregnancy. I do feel, look, there is a lot of occult energy, so I do feel there was a lot of, like, magic surrounding this situation. But sometimes, what have I said? If you don't do spell casting on magic properly you can draw in lower vibrational energy frequencies and if she had been casting spells around her and chris being together those lower vibrational energies could have turned this situation into a far different thing of chris leaving his wife it could have ended up quite demonic and it could have ended up with very dark dark energies around this there's the two little girls that i feel there i'm just going to show you that yep demonic so you've got every aspect of everything going on so you've got like nicole probably doing rituals for him to leave his wife to be together and manifest in that type of energy but again like i said that could have then resulted in those other type of darker influences in this oh gosh what a what a story so you know like i said this is all about just being respectful i'm not saying that this is all right what i'm saying is this is my spiritual insight people are entitled to have their own decisions beliefs about the situation and it's not about us having conflict about this so um i just wanted to say have a wonderful morning noon or night wherever you are around the world blessings from keridwin